Hi, I'm Lillian Guile with AOPA Communications, here at AOPA's Washington, D.C. office. Congress recently passed FAA reauthorization, and AOPA and the aviation industry are celebrating the long-awaited passage of this five-year FAA bill. It is significant for all sectors of aviation, but there is an extra emphasis on general aviation. The bill authorizes an increase in funding for general aviation airports, expands basic med, modernizes FAA systems, and much more. We're going to take a look at the bill now and see how it affects general aviation pilots and aircraft owners. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. This 1,000-page bill, known as the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2024, is a comprehensive piece of legislation that authorizes programs and policies administered by the FAA through 2028. The, the FAA reauthorization bill is just so transformative and so important for general aviation. I've been really excited about uh, the general aviation title. It's the first time in, in really in history that there's been such a, a large section of the, of the bill solely focused on addressing general aviation issues. Last year, Representative Sam Graves, an active pilot and chairman of the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, announced intentions to include a GA title in this year's FAA bill. General aviation is literally the foundation that builds all the rest of our aviation. It usually starts with GA, so it recognizes that. And I wanted to put a title together that focuses in on specific issues, you know, dealing with, uh, with GA. And now it'll be precedent, so we will always have a GA title and an FAA reauthorization. As a passionate general aviation pilot, the passage of this bill is significant to Graves. The pinnacle of my congressional career has been to be the chairman of the committee that wrote the reauthorization for uh, for the FAA, for aviation. And the fact that it is so important to me and then I got to be the shepherd and uh, and the author of that uh, legislation, it, it, uh, it, really, uh, it really meant a lot to me and I was able to put a lot of things in there I've been working for uh, for many, many years and, and uh, uh, it, it feels good. This FAA reauthorization bill is both historic and transformative for the GA industry, as the GA title gives undivided attention to programs and policies that will directly impact the unique needs of aircraft owners and pilots. I hope pilots will, will take a look at this and really understand the importance of being an AOPA member and, and, and the important role that advocacy, advocacy plays. Our system today isn't because it's just the way it is. You have to, we have to work for this every single day. And we did that on this FAA reauthorization bill. We're going to continue to do it every single day. So we're stronger together and, and uh, having an, an active membership really helps us when we do advocate uh, before Congress. The following items are some of the provisions AOPA worked directly with lawmakers to include and which will profoundly impact our industry's health, safety, and longevity. First, GA Airport Funding and Protection. A provision addressed Airport Improvement Program and GA Airport Funding, authorizing $4 billion a year for the FAA's Airport Projects Program, an expansion from the current $3.35 billion. Most of this increase will go towards funding for GA airports. Next, protecting GA airports from closure. The bill protects U.S. aviation interests by rejecting the permanent closure of any grant-obligated airport, unless the closure will not significantly impair the purpose of the airport. There's also additional funding for transient parking ramps, providing $34 million a year in the small airport fund for construction of itinerant and transient GA parking. There's also a focus on FBO and airport fee transparency. Directing a Government Accountability Office study be conducted on the efforts of FBOs to meet their commitments to improve the online transparency of prices and fees for all aircraft. AOPA initially pursued le legislative language that would have required fair and reasonable FBO fees, but the provision was struck from the Senate bill due to opposition from airport representatives and the FBO industry. Another major benefit is the expansion of basic med. It increases the maximum certified takeoff weight of a covered aircraft to 12,500 pounds, which is up from the current 6,000. It also increases the number of allowable passengers to six, up from five, and increases the allowable number of seats to seven, up from six. AOPA has advocated tirelessly for medical reform over the last decade and seen wide success. Since the introduction of Basic Med in 2017, more than 85,000 pilots have qualified to fly under Basic Med. Next, the Aeromedical Innovation and Modernization Working Group. One provision establishes a working group to review the FAA's medical processes, policies, and procedures, and who will make recommendations to the FAA Administrator to ensure the timely and efficient certification of airmen. It also requires the working group to assess the special issuance process to review the list of medical conditions under which an Aviation Medical Examiner, or AME, 
can issue a medical certificate. Next, eliminating the aircraft registration backlog. This requires the FAA to take necessary actions to reduce and maintain the aircraft registration and recordation backlog at the Civil Aviation Registry, so that on average, applications are processed no later than 10 business days after receipt. Another really significant one is the 100 low lead availability provision. This provision requires airports that offered 100 low lead aviation gasoline for sale in 2022 to continue offering the sale of 100 low lead until 2030 or until an unleaded alternative is available. The bill also establishes a timeline on the modernization of special airworthiness certification rulemaking, which requires the FAA to issue a final rule for the rulemaking activity known as Mosaic to loosen the restrictions on sport pilot and aircraft. The FAA is currently reviewing more than 1,300 comments and is expected to issue a final rule in 2025. National coordination and oversight of designated pilot examiners was also a highly anticipated provision in the bill. It requires FAA to establish an office to facilitate national coordination of DPEs. AOPA has been calling on the FAA to address the shortage of examiners, which hinders getting more qualified pilots into the skies. And there is so much more. Read a full summary of the GA provisions in the 2024 FAA reauthorization bill and AOPA's efforts to secure them. We'll drop a link in the description. And let us know in the comments which part of FAA reauthorization will have the greatest impact on your flying.